Hey, for those of you checking out my channel for the first time, this is not a Hellcat. This is a Scat Pack with a Hellcat intake. If you want to check out that install, uh, you can click, click on the elephant. All right, from the day I picked up this car, I loved the beautiful black 20 inch stock wheels. But I hated looking at them. Once you get past the chrome center caps, the chrome lugs, you look deeper to find rusty rotor hats that were painted gray. Yes, gray on an otherwise all black car. You look a little deeper, you'll find faded Brembo brake caliper covers and rusty Brembo hardware. Beautiful wheels that drew your eyes right to all the visual flaws of the car. So on my blog, workplaydrive.com, I went ahead and outlined how to fix all these issues for about 10 bucks a wheel. In this video, we're gonna take it a little bit further for another 10 bucks a wheel and apply orange G2 caliper paint. And to get you guys hooked, I'm gonna show you the end results in three, two, one. The application process for the G2 caliper paint was simple and the final results were far better than I expected. I'm so pleased with the results and recommend this to anyone looking to add improvements in the wheel area. The total process to prep and paint takes about 4 hours. You'll need to wait about 2 hours before putting your wheels back on and it's recommended to wait 24 hours before driving the car. I was only able to wait about 18 but it didn't appear to cause any issues. You obviously need the necessary tools to jack up your car and remove the wheels, but you also need a few other things to do this job. Latex gloves, safety goggles, masking tape, wire brush, 800 grit sandpaper if your calipers are rusted, lint-free microfiber or shop towels to wipe up mistakes. I'll include a list in the description to make this a little easier. To prep, you must clean and remove all dirt, grease, rust, and debris from the areas you intend to paint using the included brake cleaner. If you choose to wash the area with soap and water first, you need to make sure it's completely dry before you continue. For this application, I blew out the calipers with a leaf blower, scrubbed with a wire brush, and sprayed with the included cleaner until I felt all the surfaces were prepped. I feel it's important to mention that you should wear a pair of safety goggles when spraying. The spray back and the mist can wind up in your eyes even if you're wearing a regular pair of safety glasses. Unless you plan on splitting up the paint and activator into two or four equal batches, you will need to remove and prep all four wheels at once. Do not mix the paint until everything is ready to go. Once the activator is added, you'll have about four hours to work with the product and applying three to four good coats at approximately eight to 10 minutes per coat with 15 minutes between each coat will take just about that long. The G2 kit includes paint, activator, mixing stick, brush, and brake cleaner. The brush provided is adequate for the job. Just be sure to keep an eye on it and remove any strands that may appear loose so they don't wind up trapped in the paint. I was able to do the full job with the brush provided and get great results. You may want to mask off any areas near your painting surfaces. Get comfortable. Painting takes a while, about 10 minutes per wheel, more if you have a larger area. During the first coat, the paint was a bit loose, so apply in light coats and keep an eye out for drips. What I found is after a few minutes on the caliper, the paint thickens. And if you try to touch up these areas, it feels like you're peeling up the paint. Don't be tempted to touch up any areas. This stuff coats really well on the second and third coats, so it'll fill in any brush strokes or flaws. For me, the first coat looked very uneven. Be sure to wait at least 15 minutes between coats. Since each caliper took me about 10 minutes, I just kept going around the car over and over again. The second coat can be applied a little thicker, and in some areas it feels like the brush is sticking to the previous coat. I found that a little more paint on the brush really helped prevent this. And again, don't be tempted to touch up an area, save it for the next coat. Don't forget to keep an eye out for stray bristles on the brush.
by the third coat, the paint in the can is much thicker now. You also need to apply wet coats to fill in any flaws. Just be sure to keep an eye out for drips. This paint self-levels. You can see the results of that in about five minutes of dry time. I followed up with a fourth coat just to fill in any areas that were less than perfect. I did not coat the whole caliper on the fourth coat. Remember, it's recommended to wait two hours from your last coat before putting your wheels back on and 24 hours before driving the car. I'm really pleased with the way this job turned out. I'm also glad I decided to only do the front facing covers. I think painting everything would have been a little bit too loud. I have a set of Brembo decals, but I think I'll stick with the giraffe for a while. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you in some way. If so, please take a moment to like and subscribe so you can keep up on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.